We're going to get uh, to the economy and the state's future now with our own Premier, Colin Barnett. Uh, Premier, thanks for joining us on this Monday morning. Um, I'm not sure if you heard the comments there from Tim Bray uh, from the Chamber of Commerce there. We've been talking about uh, pricey Perth. Unfortunately, it's a tag we're being tainted with more and more. Uh, he had some views on how we might stop it. Uh, do you agree with those? I agree with some parts of it. Uh, it is true that uh, general household expenditure at the supermarket and elsewhere, uh, goods do tend to be uh, more highly priced here. That's largely because we import so much, particularly from the other states of Australia. But if you look at almost any economic statistic, economic growth, uh, wages here are about $20,000 above the national average, uh, investment, exports and the like, uh, Western Australia is still the standout economy of Australia. All right, given we've been uh, hitching our wagon to the, uh, to the mining sector for so long now, for the best part of a decade, uh, what are you and your government doing to diversify and create jobs in other industries? Uh, well, first, uh, let me just say the mining industry is far from uh, finished. Um, we perhaps had a peak period of investment two years ago, but there's still literally billions and billions of dollars of new investment taking place. So it's back to more normal growth in the mining industry. Uh, in other areas we are. We're putting a big effort into developing our agricultural industries and particularly exports into China, Japan, other countries like that. Uh, I'm Minister for Science because we want to diversify our areas into research and development, very uh, high value and mobile jobs around the world. Uh, and I think you're seeing uh, a growth in other parts of the economy, big growth in regional development, big growth in the city of Perth with projects like Elizabeth Quay, uh, sinking the rail line, uh, a lot of private investment into new office towers, hotel developments and the like. So this is the time that uh, the mining remains strong, but our economy is diversifying right before our eyes. As you try and push into these other areas, uh, Mr Barnett, uh, given we've also got state debt running into the, the 20s, uh, billions of dollars there, is this uh, a hindrance at all as we try to push ahead into these other ventures? Oh, yes, look, it is a factor, um, but the state debt has been used to build long-term assets. Uh, for example, Fiona Stanley Hospital, the new children's hospital, uh, Elizabeth Key and the like. Um, and our state debt is $22 billion, a bit higher than I would want, but of all the mainland states, Western Australia has the lowest ratio of debt to revenue. In other words, our capacity to meet that debt is best of all states. All right. Um, we've talked in the past about uh, how much we like to whinge and complain about uh, it being pricey here. If there is one message you would like to put out there or clarify to all West Australians this morning, Premier, what would it be? Oh, look, I think be optimistic and confident about the state. Um, yes, prices can be higher here because we import a lot of what, what we consume. But, for example, if you look at the government sector, uh, charges that uh, government levies, whether it be on transport, on power, on local rates or whatever else, we have the lowest level of government charges of any mainland state. So these price rises are not coming from government, but I think we can do with more competition in the private sector. And some of the heat has gone out of it. For the last couple of years, we had very big rises in pay levels right across the community. That now has eased and that will take the pressure off prices because the costs of producing and distributing goods will come down. All right, Premier, looks like a lovely morning there on Cottesloe Beach. We'll let you get back to it. It's always lovely at Cottesloe Beach, even <laughs> when it's about to rain. <laughs>